Yeah, this is the bridge. There he is. Oh, you brought Lilligant? Or no, you definitely did not. What? You liar. Oh, it just hadn't caught up yet, apparently. Ay. Finally, Mary Grace, and you found Lilligant. I found it, found it before, but you just yelled at me, saying, No, you don't have Lilligant. It's not ri literally right next to you. Ugh, I'm Hop. I, I'm literal and stuff. F you, Hop. Welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Isle of Armor Let's Play. My name is Ectric and we are here in episode 9 of this DLC content. We are going to be uh, going to the Forest of Focus to talk to Hop to get the uh, honey to be able to Gigantamax Bear. So let's do that right now. We'll head off. Oh, it's all foggy now. I think the uh, weather changes the same way the wild area does. Or the wild area's weather does. Um, so the forest is over this way, I think, right? <clears throat> it's been a little while since I played this last, so... Still, I need to refresh myself on my uh, directions in this area. There he is. How's it going, Hop? Oh, it's raining. That sucks. Finally, Mary Grace, I've been waiting forever for you. I thought I'd, I'd thought Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. Yet, I got confused here too. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonya and I split up places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us too. We'd both fit a, feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this forest to focus place while I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu should love from their flowers and fruit. Neat. What does that mean? Um. Also, how do I get those Amolga? Let's see. Find Lilligan. Didn't I already get, catch one of these? Are you Lilligan? Interesting. What are you? A Petalil. Oh. Petalil evolves into Lilligan, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Peh. <laughs> hey, doesn't that Petalil seem... seem to be acting a bit strange? Sure. I don't really know how they act normally. Looks sort of sad. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents? Aw. Poor thing. It's adorable. Tilly Lee! Whoa, you're... Who are you glomming onto, mate? <laughs> you really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. <clears throat> That's hilarious. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You've got to help us out here, Mary Grace. Go find us one of Petalil's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried-looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Hey. Um... Yo, Urshifu, you want to help me with this? So cool. I love my bear. Alright. Got that. Hmm. Where would a Lilligant be? Hmm. Can I get it to come down? No. Hi, Pikachu. Um, no. I don't want you. Sorry. Don't mean to be rude, but I already have a Pikachu. Um, where is this Lilligant that I'm looking for? Hmm. Maybe over this way? Hmm. 
Got it. There we go. You have to whistle for it. That makes sense. I want this Amolka. Alright. Let's see. Throw a quick ball. Beautiful. Now, what am I going to name this Imoga? It's a squirrel. It's an electric squirrel. Uh, squirrel electric? Sure, why not? Squirrel electric. Alright. We go name it. Yes. Squirrel trick. Ah, oh, crap, it doesn't fit. Um Ellen. Instead of electric, it'll be Ellen. All right, Ellen. I don't have any more Pokemon in my team. I should put uh, the rest of my team on again. All right, let's see. So we're gonna move you to the extra box again. Good old Garlic Jr. And, oh, this one. Beautiful. We've got our team back. Let's go. Um, where is this Lilligant? Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember where I found the other Lilligant. I feel like it's going to be an overworld sprite. Not going to be, and it's not going to be a uh, just like a random encounter that you find. Ooh, a blue apricorn. Um, let's see. Oh, oh! Here we go. Lil. Where's my Lil? Pell Lil. Interesting. Found it. How's it going? Wow, you take forever to turn. Lily? We've got your petal Lil. Liligant. Or Ligant. Sure. All right, let's go this way. Lilligant. Okay, it does follow. That's good stuff. How fast is it? It's about as fast as Urshifu, so that's good. Ooh, diggly dig, diggly dig. D d d d d. Hmm. Hurry up, Lilligant. Your child is waiting. Hop's legs are probably getting uh, falling asleep because of uh, your child sitting on top of him. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that the Lilligant was yelling about needing me to slow down or something. Alright. Oh, ran into a wall. There we go. This, nope. Did I go the wrong way? Hmm. Where is Hop? Is he over that bridge over there? I think he's over that bridge. Yeah, this is the bridge. There he is. Oh, you brought Lilligant? Or no, you definitely did not. What? You liar. Oh, it just hadn't caught up yet, apparently. Ay. Finally, Mary Grace, and you found Lilligant. I found it found it before, but you just yelled at me saying, no, you don't have Lilligant. It's not literally right next to you. Ugh, I'm Hop. I, I'm literal and stuff. F you, Hop. Anyway. Hooray for family reuni reunions. Tello, Lily. Okay. <laughs> Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Gantu. to Oh, that's so cute. It said thank you. Aw. Lily! Huh? Is this some of the nectar from your flower, Lilligant? Gant too, Till Lil. 
This is adorable. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> You're such a weirdo, Hop. See you, little pet a little. See you, little gint. Nice one, Mary Grace. Now we've got some of Lilligan's nectar. Nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky, just like Urshifu likes it. Slurp. Hmm. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate. But at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Applin's nectar a try next. Okay. Where are we going now? Hmm. I feel like we're supposed to go... Hold on. Let me look at the map. I feel like this area, Honeycomb Island, is probably where we need to go to be, you know, to get this sweet and sticky thing. Insular Sea. There's so much I haven't looked at around here. I need to do some more exploring. Maybe in the next few episodes I'll do that. Honeycomb Sea. What's that red, yellow dot up there? Eh, maybe it's just a small island. All right, let's go find Hop. Oh, who are you? Oh my gosh, I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever! I can show you its awesome Pokedex entry for just 100 watts, if you like. Sure. Dragalga. Ooh. Now we can look up where it, where you can catch it. You'll find different Pokemon depending on the weather, so make sure to search each and every day. Sounds good. I already have one of you. Um, where did Hop go? Um, Hop, where'd you go? Up this way? Hmm. Where is he? Where did he go? No, maybe this way. Where is he? Am I supposed to still be in the forest? Find Applin in the forest of focus. Oh, I'm looking for the Applin specifically. Okay. We'll find it. Hmm. Up this way, perhaps? Hmm. Over here? No, no, come on. I just went in a circle. This place is so confusing. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble, like, getting my bearings in this place. They did a very good job of designing something that's confusing and, um, not easy to navigate. I'm assuming that was their goal. Okay, is there anything down here? No. Am I supposed to just find a regular Applin? Why can't I just use my own Applin? I have an Applin. Alright. Diglet, dig, diglet, dig. Alright. Hmm. No, that'll lead us out. Over this way, perhaps? Hmm. That'll lead us back. What's going on over here? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Trigger to cutscene. There it is. Little Applin. Oh god, are we gonna, like... Is Hop gonna catch it for me or something like that? I really don't want to date Hop. Isn't that the lore of this, where you catch an Applin and give it to someone? Wait, come back! Hop needs to get it to me, get it for me, so that he can try and date me. I mean, I'm gonna say no, but still. This is rotten. I don't see that Applin anywhere. But I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Mary Grace, we've got to find that Applin. Yeah, neat. It's probably in the tray. Yeah, it's definitely in the tree. <laughs> it's really cute, too. <laughs> huh, something wrong with that berry tree? Pee! Ouch, the Applin clocked you right in the head! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Waylon! 
Roll away, Lynn! Huh, uh, Mary Grace, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be apple and nectar on you. It might have given us a slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But is apple and nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding. Or the apple, so let's give it a try. Did you just slurp at my hat? That's gross. Why are you so weird, Hop? Hmm. I don't think you'd describe it as sticky, exactly. It's more like juice or something. Drats. Lilligan's nectar, wasn't it? Applin's nectar, wasn't it? They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers, but... Was I just barking up the wrong tree? Yes. PD. Whoa, a venipede. I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Oh god, what are you thinking? Please don't eat the poison. Th that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Something <laughs> I should have clicked. Oh man, I should have said, you just noticed. And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up thoughts of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? <laughs> she po Pokemon! <laughs> uh, no, that'd be Wooloo. It might eat grass, but it can't produce honey. The Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespaquin is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Mary Grace? Have you ever seen one? Yes, I have. We're talking about the Isle of Armor. I think we should find some on that island shaped like a honeycomb over in the... Yep, I knew it. All right, let's go. Wish we could have just gone there in the first place and not had to deal with Hop over and over again, but I don't know. It's fun to do the little, like, the Lilligan stuff and all that. Um... Okay. Get out of this forest as quickly as possible. Over this way. And down over here. Beautiful. Excuse me, Pikachu. Alright. So we gotta go in the water. Ooh, a star piece. Hmm. So, let's look at the map real quick to make sure we're going in the right direction. That's Pokemon. This is the map. There we go. Okay, so we definitely have to go way up there. Hmm, where is... Oh, so it's up this way. Really? Hold on. No, it's... What? Oh, it just puts us in the... The, the smiley face isn't exactly where we are. It's the in general location. So we have to go up this way. I'm guessing up towards this way. Okay, Honeycomb Sea. No, no, no. No Sharpedo. Go away, you. Leave me alone. No, no, no. Not another one. God. Ugh. Leave me alone. I just want to get to the honeycomb... Or the honeycomb place. Whatever it's called. Ooh. Hidden item. Or not hidden. Perfect. Okay. Grab this. A dragon scale. Dragon scales, dragon scales. Come on. Good dragon scales. Diglett, dig, diglet, dig. Alright. How did you get out here, Diglett? It's un honestly impressive. Uh, were there any other hidden items? No. Alright, um... Let's see. Yes, we want to go to the left now. I'm thinking... No, oh, go away. I'm thinking this is the direction we want to go. Hmm. Interesting. Is this it? No, this it can't be it. Oh, that must be it over there. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Oh wow, we. So it's a lot closer than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a lot farther. All right, we'll go back over this way. Honestly, it's pretty close. 
Go away, you stupid sharpie. There we go. Honeycomb Island. We made it. Hey, another Lilligan. Oh, and a Diglett. How are you, Diglett? Big D chat. Must be a J Japanese Diglett. Um, oh, there are Vespaquit. Female combis. These are all female combis. Wow. This is a great place. There you are, Mary Grace. Glad you could finally make it. Yep. I got a little bit lost and went too far north. I've seen loads of combi around, but no sign of Vespaquin so far. But they're the ones that ha that had the sicky honey. In the tree? Huh? I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonia, but what's it going off now? The tree? Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's got to be up, Mary Grace. I think we should check it out. Okay. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Yes. It's a big tree, though. I don't know how we're going to manage to shake it. Oh, we're determined, though. <laughs> What's happening now? Uh, we... Pissed off the bees? Yarg! Are oh, we gonna do a max ra raid battle against a Vespaquin? That's pretty cool! Oh, beehive! <laughs> what it, whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon den. Interesting. Oh, are we gonna have to use Urshifu? Because he's up front? Okay. That's okay. Oh, wait, we're going to have to fight by ourselves. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's bug poison, isn't it? Which means our fighting moves are going to be not very effective, but... Aerialis should be fine. Also, Connolly Dynamax. We should be fine. Let's go. Alright. Take this thing down, bear. Ben Worst comes to worst, we just bring in, like, Randall, who's level 91 and can body this thing. But I think they are going to handle this. Okay, Max Airship is perfect. Wow, that didn't do it nearly as much as I thought it, as I thought it would. I suppose it's not stab. Holy cow! Wait, why is Max Knuckle super... Oh, because it's dark. Crap, that's why it did so much. All right, well, Bear's gonna go down with another Max Knuckle. So we're gonna have to use uh, other Mons to kill the, this the rest of the way. I didn't think of that. I should have thought of that. Actually, why would it have a fighting? Why would I know it had a fighting type move? I can't blame myself for that one. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Um, let's see. Uh, spark on best point. Perfect. Nice. Even more effective than Bear's attack. Let's go. We got this. Alrighty. Uh, another five the stat changes. That's fine. Holy cow. Um, alright. Well, we don't have to worry about, you know, Nuzlocke rules or anything like that, so we might as well just keep attacking. Makes no sense to heal up if it's just going to be able to bring us right back down there with one attack. Okay. Who's next? Um, oh, I could use Ice Beam. I'll do that. Let's go, Randall. Finish this thing off. Alright. Ice Beam. Ooh, one more. Should be fine. Never mind. Jeez, this thing is no joke, man. Alright. This should work. We're blowing through all our mons, but this should work. Alright. Um, aerial base. We don't have a fire type move on Azula. Oh, that's not good. It didn't do anything. Order. I suppose it did raise its 
attack or its defense and special defense over and over and over again. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, it was a crit, to be fair. Um Hmm. Let's see. Regularly effective. Ooh. Um Okay, we're swapping this in. We're using Avalanche to buy you this thing. And if it goes down to Grim Snarl, we'll use some sort of uh, revive to bring back. Uh, okay, yeah. We're gonna use a revive to bring back Amon. Probably Randall, because he can. We you know he can body it. All right, swap this in. Man, this thing is no joke. Holy cow! All right, let's use our bag. Max Revive on Randall. The only reason it killed us in the first place with the reversal was that we um, hit it so it did double damage. Nullified stat changes, reversal... Yeah. That's fine. You did what you had to do, Gandalf. Swap it. We're more faster than it. Super effective Ice Beam. Should be done. Alright. Ice Beam. Bye bye, Vesper. Holy cow. Whew. Finally done. That took a lot more effort than it should have. The aftershocks of the battle caused a strange clump of honey to fall from above. Oh, neat. Uh, honey that Dynamax Vespaquin produces. Adding this honey to Max Soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a Max Revive. Oh, that's useful. Sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax to Vespaquin to come swooping out to attack us. A us? Excuse me? I was the only one in there. You were nowhere to be found, you loser. Why weren't you helping if you were there with me? You coward. I don't forgive you. Alright, seems like that honey was setting off my power spot detector too. Max Mushrooms and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons we don't know yet know about it, so there's tons of research just waiting to be done. Come on, you gotta get you got the thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo. Okay. Sounds good. Let me go fly over there. Alright. Um so let's head back to the dojo. And then we will heal up. After a cutscene, most likely. Yep. Welcome back, my wandering Wooloo. Oh, and what is this sweet scent I detect, wafting through the air around you? <laughs> That'd be the Max Honey that Urshifu loves to the Max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now? Already? You put me and Mary Grace on it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. Or, you know, I do by myself and you kind of just stare on because you're a loser. Ugh. Can't believe you didn't help me. What kind of friend are you? Oof, oof, oof. You did a real bang-up job finding that Max Honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Mary Grace. And our little hop, too. You didn't forget for a second what that certain something was, did you? Hehehe. <laughs> if we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will sure to be want to, or sure to want a sip. Urfu! Well, it's been real, Mary Grace. But I think we've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of trading if I'm going to be ready for what's to come after all. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're ready, really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Oh, cool. I'm going to take on uh, Master Mustard. Well, not this episode. We'll do that next episode. Battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Mustard's gotta be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle, Mary Grace. I guess I'd better start getting serious about the research I came here to do, too. Good luck with your things, Mary Grace. I'm sure you'll manage, like you always do. I'll come dashing right back to catch that battle, though, if you do try taking on Master Mustard. Now, my question is, what level is he gonna be at? Is this where it, like, scales? Um, I want to restore my Pokemon. 
I lost all of them at least once in that battle. All right, well, we will have to find out next episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. But until then, I will see you in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye.